in verse 3, the aged women likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. This is what you need to labor in, sisters. You need to labor in mastering all of these traits right here. Behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers. You know, and some sisters like, oh, I don't lie. You know when you lie? When you get in counsel with your husband. You'll never tell all the truth. It'd be bits and pieces of it. And we find out down the line that you did this. Well, damn, you didn't mention that last time. You'd be a false accuser when it come to counsel, leaving out stuff. But these are the things that you need to labor in perfecting. Read on. Verse 4, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands uh -huh. that the word of God be not blasphemed. Right. That's what you got to labor in, sisters. Perfect those things. Look up what those words actually mean and then I'm going to give you, a, here's a homework assignment. I'm going to be discreet all week. I'm going to practice being discreet all week. Be, let that be your, your homework and say, you know what? I'm going to be obedient to my husband for the rest of my life. Let that be a homework assignment for you. Love your children and love your husbands. Give me that, give me that next video. Labor in that. You ain't meant to be over a congregation. Some of you might not be meant to be a damn cook in the kitchen. No, you, you might be meant to just be a good helper to your husband. And your husband is going to soar to new heights because he ain't got no stress at home. He got someone that's laboring in the gospel with him. You know how hard it is to drag around a dead weight at home? She don't do nothing, but I'm doing all of this stuff. And she give me problems here, arguing every one, all the time and blaming this. And blaming. Damn, women, you blaming. You're mad at me about the kids when you wanted damn kids. Hey. You wanted to be a mother. You wanted to be a wife. Why are you complaining to me about being a mother and a wife? That's the real uh, uh, il illustration of a ball and chain. Yeah. You moving forward, but you got this big lump of metal holding you back from, from doing the work. And, and, they, and you crazy. might even be like, how do I hold him back? Why? Because if that man's house is out of order, he can't be over the church of God. We got to demote him. We got to sit him down. You, that ball and chain that's holding him back. Pull up that video of what a uh, man won't. A message. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Go back. Go to the other video. Go to the other video. Go to the other one. Ladies, Where we at? Uh, we don't see it. Pull it up so we can see it. All right. Uh, a message to the sisters. Play Ladies, this. You ain't got to go agree with me with this, but I seen something heard something decided to say. Turn about. it up. First, let's get this out the way. Aggression does not equal strength. Boom. A lot of women Second think thing, that. let's get it out the way. Being the loudest does not make you the strongest. Mm. Boom. That's out the way. Third thing. Anything you want to go in your favor, hostility will not get you that favorable result. That's right. I say this to say, women, your attitude and your mouth will shut doors for you that not even your talent can reopen. Damn. Let me say that again. Your attitude and your Jeez. mouth will get you more no's than the simple fact of somebody just not wanting to do some shit for you. Meek does not equate to weak. And we need to understand that how we handle men, how we handle business. We don't got to be the bitter woman. We don't got to be the mad woman. Play it again. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, pause it. Pause it, Kevin. You're going to say something? Play it again. You, you're in the spirit, man. This is the, and it's crazy that we always hear these from sisters in the world. That's crazy. It's Eddie. crazy. They don't know half of what y'all know about God, about your nationality, about your heritage, about how you were meant to act on this earth. Because I'm going to tell you straight, what she said is, is fact. You turn it up, I'm going to tell you straight, I'm going to turn it up even oh, more Best you. believe it. You best believe that. Best believe I'm going to show you behind that you can't turn up more yeah. than me. Get loud. Get loud if you want yeah. to. Straight up. Yeah. Because we lions. Another lion, you can't be two lions in the house. No, you're going to hear us roar. And Gary Depp T, we go win. The man of God, we go win. I don't know about, I don't know about Simp Brothers. You, you played a 
No, no, not lions. Uh uh. He's the king of the jungle. And every other damn animal in the jungle knows that. He don't share that with nobody. When it's time to uh, uh, put his foot down and let everybody know he the king of the jungle, he makes sure everybody know he the king of the jungle. Play that video one more time. I want to sink in for the sisters. Ladies, you ain't got to go agree with me with this, but I seen son heard something decide to say something. First, let's get this out the way. Aggression does not equal strength. Boom. Second thing, let's get it out the way. Being the loudest does not make you the strongest. Boom. That's out the way. Third thing, anything you want to go in your favor, hostility will not get you that favorable result. I say this to say, women, your attitude and your mouth will shut doors for you that not even your talent can reopen. Pause it. Let me say that. You let that seek in. When it comes to the man of God, we don't give a damn how good. We don't care if you got a PhD. We don't care. If your attitude is stank, you will stay sitting somewhere in a purple chair and we will forget about you. You might be a damn a world famous chef or cook in the world. If your if your attitude is steak at home and is steak in here, you will sit in the purple chair and we will get the sister that just learned how to cook hey, to help us. Bring it out. It man. won't be as good. We, we she might cook and we'd be like, hey, can we get some extra salt and seasoning? But she got a good spirit on her. We will hey, ride with her. Hey, that sister bring it with a smile. Bring it with a smile. Anything else? And you, you know, know we say uh, she's trying. Yep. Hey, cause ain't nothing more, ain't nothing more. Uh, what they say, uh, more of a turnoff than an aggressive one. Oh, oh that's, that's oh. disgusting. Oh, that thing could change your whole year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom out. Yeah, let it play. Don't mind the dag legs. I want to give you guys something that I've learned in my forty-one years of life. Men seek for peace, and it don't matter if you're black, blue, yellow. Asian, Latina. They want to come home to a peaceful woman. Two, men aren't complimented enough. As children, they are taught to not communicate their emotions. Pause so it right to there. have a woman. Pause it right there. It's just, it, man ain't complimented enough. It's like it's just expected. You know, how, you know what how, what we go through to learn these scripts and go out and deal with the ungodly. I, I wonder how many sisters have actually watched their husband's video and be like. My Lord, you was bringing it out out there. Precept by precept. He couldn't even stand in front of you. You was dicing him up. You know what? You my favorite teacher. Hey, that that's a real question, that. man. That's a real question. They don't watch their husband videos. That that uh, that, that two views is not from you. No, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Enough. That's crazy. Gave up everything to be a prophet of God because he called us. The spirit woke up in us. And then the help meet that he gave you, don't even acknowledge it. That's the same thing that Eve did. She didn't even acknowledge that Adam was a God. She tried to outdo him. And you know what's, you know what's also heavy about that? He doing it for you. Yeah. You are part that. of why he's doing what he's doing. They don't see that. Go back to the video. Compliment them and permit them to communicate their emotions. They love us. He wants a woman that's resourceful, a woman that can think on her feet. So when he can't hold it down, if he's ill and he's unable to pay the bills, Proverbs 31. she can be resourceful and have her intellect to make things happen. That's what he needs. Finally, they're looking for a woman to supply their physical needs. A oh. woman that looks good and proper in public. But it's a beast modest in bed. Oh, these are things Stop. that pause, pause it, pause it. Hey, run that back like three seconds. Run that back like three seconds. Run that back and play that. Play for that a woman right. to supply their physical needs. A woman that looks good and proper in public, but is a beast in bed. Stop. These are things that stop, I stop, stop right there, stop right there. Just meditate on that for a so, Oh, oh, I got a lot to say. Some of y'all was beast in the sheets with pants on. Mm. But now your log is on a damn river <laughs> with, with a dress, dress on. <laughs> now your ass is, is, is doggone rocks just laying there. Don't do a damn thing. The access is easier with a dress. It's e and it's harder to get. It's harder to get. You just lay there. Don't do a doggone. The, your husband won't that freak in the sheets. After prophesying in the streets. After prophesying in the streets. <laughs> now what your husband wants. T-shirt. That's what your husband wants, but some of y'all just logs on the river. 
Just logs on the river. Just lay there. Don't do it. De- don't make no noise. No eye contact. Nothing. Again today? So, some of y'all don't even take your hair wrapper. So, some of y'all keep keep your damn face mask on. Oh, no. <laughs> some of y'all wear bonnets when it's time to get down with to get down. Be the beast that your husband met when your ass was in jeans. Damn. All right, I'm done, Cap. I'm done. I'm done. Great. I'll praise this. Sirach 25. Read 25. Read uh, 16. Then we're going to jump. We're almost done here. The book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 25 and verse 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. That's the thought of every man. Jump up to verse 13. Verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Sisters, be your husband's peace at home. That's what every prophet on the face of the earth wants. Be his peace at home. And that is not according to your standards. It's what he wants. That's why God said he shall rule over thee. Obey them that have the rule over you. It's according to his standards. Not what you like to do. It's what he likes. And if you don't like it, you better get on the damn train and learn to love it. I said, right. That's right. Learn to love it. Because that's who you was made for. That's your purpose in earth. First Timothy chapter 4. Read verse 9. And sooner you sisters realize your pur- purpose and accept that thing, you'll be better off. You will fulfill your divine role. You'll be a lot happier. Because we don't ask for much. What did you say? Sex. Sustenance, silence, and submission. That's it. Four things. That's it. You're going to white man job, he wants you to do ten things. We only need you to do four. That's it. F- first, uh, your mic going up? Use that one. Uh, you got to think about it. You got sisters that don't even believe in the truth of Christ that's willing to do those three things. Yep. Th- them on there. They yeah, said them it. right there. The mo- you know they call them uh, the clean up woman. Mm. Mm. Damn. What you doing to keep your husband away from that clean up woman? What are you doing? Something to think about. Better make sure his stomach is full and his gas tank on empty before we go out and prophesy on the streets. First Timothy chapter 4, let's read 9 and 10. The book of First Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 9. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach. We both labor and suffer reproach from all those around us that don't see the wisdom in the scriptures of God and applying them, how they can change your life. We get reproach from them. Read on. Because we trust in the living God, uh-huh. who is the Savior of all men. Especially of those that believe. He's the savior of those that especially believe. So in closing, struggle through the struggle. Whatever shortcomings that you may have in your spirit that ain't um, up to par with what God has divinely ordained for you to be uh, uh, following, get your spirit on that level. Get it on that level because for one, what? You trust in the living God. You are thankful that he called you into this truth. You are you are, are showing your uh, um, you are showing your patience in God, that you are willing to go through that struggle and be built up to whatever God needs you to be, so He can set you in that place when it pleases Him. Do those things, and we'll be all right as a nation. All right. <laughs>